All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just got back from seeing the 2019 Black Christmas remake, and I'm here to follow up on my uh, rant video that I did a few weeks ago. To start things off, before I go into any spoilers, quote unquote, I'll just cut through the bullshit and give you the basics of my thoughts on the film. Compared to the 1974 original, it's a piece of shit, but compared to the 2006 Black Christmas remake, it is far, far, far better of a film. Honestly, I don't really feel like delving into too much details for the film, even though I will spoil some things, because I would like to eventually do a full-blown review on the film at a later date, as well as a review of the 2006 film. But overall, it was, it was okay. Like, really, it, it's an okay movie. The controversy on the internet Yes, there's some really stupid parts with the uh, faux throwaway feminism that's a little overwrought, overcooked, and uh, on overdrive, but putting that bullshit aside and the fact that it really shouldn't be called Black Christmas, it's an okay movie. I've seen so much worse. So much, so much worse. I'll get to that at a later date. <laughs> In case you're wondering, uh, Black Christmas 2019 has fuck all to do with both the original Black Christmas and the 2006 film. No Billy, no Agnes, no crazy escape mental patient calling people, no mysterious psychopath murdering people, not many prank phone calls, not many vulgar phone calls, no obscene calls. However, the new film basically has a big emphasis on direct messages and texting. The film's antagonist, oh, excuse me, I mean antagonist, basically used texting to warn the sorority girls that they're about to fucking die at some point. That's how they communicate with their victims to be. Yeah, they updated that aspect. In fact, that's really the only major uh, callback to the original or even the 2006 film. There's also two instances of... Um, a callback to the big plastic death scene from the original. I don't remember if the remake had such a scene. And there's even a really fucking weird Exorcist 3 reference. Yeah, that scene, in case you're wondering. As I anticipated before seeing the film, Imogen Poots easily was the film's MVP. Her performance and arc was, without a doubt, the film's heart and soul. However, um... Everybody else, uh, Carrie Elwes included, didn't turn in the most believable or particularly great of performances, ranging from, ah, oh, she's a generic uh, sorority girl, to, ah, woke as fuck. The ending wing was okay, the direction was fine. Uh, the heavy uh, post-production censorship from an R rating to a PG-13 was hands down the film's big Achilles heel. I hope to fuck Universal Studios and Blumhouse put the original uncensored, unexpurgated R-rated cut onto the Blu-ray. Because trust me, the heavily toned down blood and guts was really, really stupid. Which was pretty much the gist of my rant when I made the previous video. So in conclusion, um, would I recommend Black Christmas 2019? Eh, it's a 50-50 probability that you might like it or not. It, it could go either way. Some people will find the feminist aspects to be super annoying and would consider it a god-awful piece of shit. And then fans of the original Black Christmas would be super insulted that the film has fuck all to do with the original and whatever fuck it fans of the 2006 redo. Uh, I don't fucking know about that group. Pfft, I don't give a fuck. But if you have an open mind and you just come in expecting a silly, uh, okay-ish, uh, female-fronted, uh, survival horror slasher film, you'll probably enjoy it. Get a few things out of it. Just, well, just hope that the uncut R-rated cut makes it to the Blu-ray. Because if it never comes out on Blu-ray and all we get is the fucking watered-down PG-13 cut, it'll be a damn shame. 
because in my opinion the film would be way more effective with those uh, extra bits restored as is it's an okay flawed not particularly uh, urgent to see but per particularly inoffensive remake with some major issues but if the R-rated cut was to come out, it would be a perfectly adequate and serviceable slasher film, albeit with really clumsy faux feminist aspects that would rub people the wrong way. I personally don't give a shit in that stuff. Even when it got super stupid, did it bother me that much? But all in all, it's a rental if you ask me.